imagine driving down the road in the early hours of the morning. You come to a stop sign or stoplight, and no one else is in sight, except for a disheveled girl who stands at the side of the road, staring at you with deep, dark eyes. Was she abandoned? Did she run away? Is she lost? Why does she appear to look somewhat misgiving? feeling somewhat uneasy and not knowing why this girl is standing alone alongside the road. Well, this somewhat recent Knock Knock Road story was documented in the 2006 book, Weird Michigan, and takes place in Detroit. In the chapter Roads Less Traveled, it tells the tragic tale of a little girl pedaling joyfully down the sidewalk on her new bicycle on a hot summer's day who accidentally veered down a driveway and into oncoming traffic. Her life ultimately came to an end after being struck by a careless driver, but although her body was carefully removed and laid to rest, the story goes that her spirit never leaves the scene. Instead, she spends endless nights approaching cars on Strasbourg Street and knocking on their windows to see if she can put a face to the driver who ended her short life. It's not clear what her intentions are if she ever locates the driver. She could be crying out for help, or seeking vengeance. This is the version of the legend you'll find in most reports, and is generally the most completed version. The story tends to have nothing more than the barest of details, no matter who tells it. However, this story isn't the only one attached to Detroit's Knock Knock Road. Weird Michigan includes two accounts of this story in the literal margins of the book's entry on the supposedly haunted road. In this version, the victims are a bunch of kids in a car driving recklessly down Strasbourg Street and they collide with a pole head-on as a result of their carelessness. The teenagers are said to have gotten stuck in the crashed car and unable to escape after it caught fire. As they burned, they pounded on the windows trying to get out, but this proved to be unavailing. According to Valerie S who witnessed strange happenings surrounding the incident, whenever you drive down that street, you can hear and feel them knocking and pounding on your doors, yelling and screaming for help. There's also another report by Ali Marco, who further noted that the effects of driving down Knock Knock Road and most noticeable when your car is going the exact same speed those kids were going when they veered off the road at 76 miles an hour. Want to go to Strasbourg Road around 3 or 4 a.m. all alone and in search of this apparition? There are plenty of abandoned, creepy houses in various blocks along the street, quite a contrast to the rest of the neighborhood blocks. Strasbourg Street runs between 8 Mile Road and East McNichols Road and goes right through the suburbia neighbourhoods of Pulaski, Osborne and Von Steuben. But don't let the streetlights give you any feeling of security. You're on your own that late at night. 